Graham Hill sponsors Joshua versus Molina on Sky Sports Box Office. surprised when Marius put him down in the 11th round considering that player is the puncher? I was surprised, yeah. I mean, but the thing is, uh, I think uh, once early in, in one of the early rounds, he had him him also. And, um, you know, he, he, he fought a very good fight. And, you know, um, I saw him the story, you know, I mean, I was calling him about everyone's going. I asked him to train him, I just didn't have time. I was really booked in the pack down and so forth. So I said, I said no, but I was disappointed that I couldn't take him on because I do like to help people. And I mean, I, I don't see no between the but it's just really too, too many. And uh, he fought a very good fight tonight, and uh, he can still fight. He's a very good boxer. And where does uh, Koya go from here after this loss? Well, you know, we're going to graduate and see how it goes, maybe at 130, maybe possibly, because uh, I've always said that he did better at the, at the higher weights, and um, I think he struggles a little bit too much to make 126, even though we overdid it for this fight. How much you guys want to do? or can he make the adjustments in terms of better foot speed or does he just need to just accept that he's just a power puncher? No, he's, about, he, he's got great foot speed and he, when he wants to use it, his, his foot speed is very good and just, we just didn't have that part of him tonight. How much stronger at 130 will he be, in your opinion? I think he'll be a much better puncher at 30 and not a much more good one and they take a better shot at 130 but because um, I don't have to train with him, I always said this guy, I think he will win titles at 30 and 35. And um, hopefully we, we head in that direction, I think, because I think 26 has been too much a struggle for him for a long time. Second half of the fight, he seemed really sluggish. He was very sluggish, yes. Um, I don't, I haven't talked about it, anyone about that yet, so um, I think I fly out Monday to go see Cardo and then uh, give him a nice one to get home. Do you like that fight? Uh, yes. What do, you, what do you think about Kirkland going back with Ann Wolf? I think that's the rumor going. Now, does that make a difference at all? It seems like it does. Um, <laughs> it, it has before, so um, he does fight better with her on the corner. Have you heard about her training regimen? Like I know her training. I have seen that. We've all seen that. What do you think about it? Not crazy, but it works. <laughs> <laughs> it works for him. Um, yes, it does work for him. Maybe not for everybody. Maybe not for everybody, but you know, it's, um, so I, I like him. Well, she's a very nice person. And when I met her, I didn't expect her to say, "Hi, Mr. Rich, how are you?" Yeah, <laughs> she thought it was gonna be a little bit rougher, but she was a very nice lady. Would you ever employ those kind of training tactics on your fighters, or is just not? This is every trainer is different. Every trainer is different, okay. yes. You never thought about it, like at, at all, or what do you think about like just extreme, extreme things that she does? Well, um, they, they, like they, like you said, they work for him, so it's she found um, the perfect suit for what she's doing. So it works out well. I'm not gonna criticize her because she does well. I mean, she she the thing is the results. You know, that's why I'm disappointed right now because. I had two real bad fights today. I was going to say, speak on the, the Zappa fight and just kind of your, your evening jump just didn't go your way. You know, Zappa, by the time he went down the, 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 the second time, he was the second time in, uh, um, he was just cutting five places and he just, um, he was just, um, he just, he just wasn't in, into it at that point. It was just like too much blood he couldn't see, bleeding everywhere. And um, he just um, took the ten count. Sure. But um, you know, um, he caught the guy, hurt him, almost had him out, and then he got caught by a shot and trying to finish him. And uh, 
he made, made a crucial mistake there, but um, he paid for it. Terrence Crawford had an eighth round knockout today against oh, the okay. yeah. Does that put him closer for a Manny Pacquiao fight, maybe, in your opinion? Yeah, it always puts him closer to a Manny Pacquiao fight. You know, the thing is, uh, Pacquiao wants to continue to fight, and uh, if we do continue to fight, and if we don't give him a real fight, we, you know, we do want to fight the, the best guys out there. We're not, you know, we don't want to fight just like the easy fights or anything like that. He wants to be. Um, I won't let him. No, I won't let him. I want to be in the, like the top ten, yeah, and uh, we'll fight anyone in, in, in that category. So how about that fight at 140, 147, Freddie? Um, I like him at 40, but you know, he hasn't fought at 40 for a while, and um, so, um, but I think he's going to be much quicker at 40 and a better puncher at 40. But uh, he's been at 47 for so long now, it's just, it's, um, 